Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create charts in WordPress with WP data tables. So why are charts important anyway? Graphs and charts condense large amounts of information into easy to understand formats that clearly and effectively communicate important points. They make appearances in corporate settings, serving as useful tools to convey financial information and facilitate data analysis. Charts and WP data tables can be created with a step-by-step -step wizard in the WordPress admin section. To create one, click on Create a Chart, set its name, and select a render engine. You have Google Charts, Hide Charts, and Charts.js as options. Select the table. Choose what you want to use in the chart and then start customizing it. Set to Charts options and preview it. Modify the settings you want to see the chart live as it will look on the front end. To put the chart on a page or post, copy the short code and then paste it into the page or post content. In case you want to make edits to a chart that you already posted on a page or post, you can do so. Go back and edit the things you want. The modifications will be visible on the front end immediately. There are certain things that cross your mind when thinking about these charts. For example, are they responsive? Yes, they are. These charts look great on any device, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. You just need to enable the responsiveness feature with a click. Don't want the charts width to change depending on the device it's viewed on? Set it to off then. Let's get back to the three chart engines that you can use and focus on their pros and cons. Google Charts is a free to use library from Google. It renders customizable charts that will work on all platforms. However, it's basic and doesn't have a lot of options. High Charts looks really good. If you got the budget for it, you should get a license for commercial usage. These have the largest number of useful formatting options that will make your charts look stunning and useful at the same time. Charts.js might not have as many charts as the previous two, but it has several unique ones that the others don't have. They also look great. So there's a variety of charts to use, depending on your preferences and budget. Let's talk about the follow table filtering option. It sounds strange, but it is a really useful one. Charts and WP data tables have one very useful feature when they are rendered on the same page with a table. They can re-render when the table is filtered using the advanced filter. How is this useful? Let's say you want to allow users to visualize only some part of the table data. For example, the activity only for a certain product type or for a different date range. This feature is even better when you have the server-side processing option checked for a large table. In this way, you can render the chart for many thousands of rows without overloading the page. To activate follow table filtering, toggle the small slider button from the data range step. Then, place both the chart and the table that is used as source in the same page. We're going to filter the table now. Let's select the second page of this table. As you can see, the data in the chart has changed. The same happens with any filtering option that you choose. Another neat feature that you should know about is the chart grouping one. Chart grouping enables you to have rows with the same label summed up and rendered as a single series. How's this helpful? I'm sure it didn't happen only once when you had repeating rows in your table, which had different values. This becomes really annoying when you need to display a chart for all the values that a certain row has. Let's illustrate the situation. In this chart here, there are repeating rows, each with different values. Without chart grouping, the chart looks rather misleading. What we are interested in seeing is a chart with the sum of all the apples each person has. To do that, you need to toggle the Enable Grouping feature from the formatting and preview step of creating a chart. And that's how you simplify a complex feature with the click of a button. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to our channel to see other neat and informative tutorials.